everyone, it's me, X Canadensis. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I post new doll related videos almost every single day. And in today's video, we are going to be reviewing the second of my Shadow High Series 3 dolls. I'm really excited. This is Lavender Lynn. She was my favorite one from the original photos, really because she has glasses. And I also really like how saturated her skin tone is. I think this is a really cool one. If you have not seen it, I also reviewed Very Skies. I reviewed her yesterday. So if you'd like to see that review, check the link in the description. And I'm really impressed with this one. So hopefully I feel the same way about Lavender. I just think she's really beautiful. So I'm really excited. So as you can see, her packaging is a little bit different because she has little flowers all over as opposed to the circuit circuit board stuff that uh, Barry had. And then if we look over here, it says that Lavender is a photography focus. And on the back of Lavender's box, we have, is that Pinkly? I don't remember. I haven't unboxed her yet. Um, and then I think that's Oliver and then Lavender. And it says the students at Shadow High always let their true colors shine. And then bottom of the box, we have the barcode as well as the batch code. So if you need that, there it is. All right, let's get her out of the box. Lavender Lynn is out of the packaging and this is what she looks like. I am loving her color scheme and I'm really excited to get a closer look at her with you guys. So starting off, as always, we're going to be taking a look at her face and hair. So before I even start, I'm really bummed about her hair. It's super, super gelled. Like, I understand it with the bangs. I'm not mad at that. But the actual ponytail has this huge, disgusting gel glob. Um, and that was for packaging. Like, I get it. I just, when a doll does not have heavy hair gel like this one, I just enjoy the doll so much more right out of the gate. So it always makes me sad when they have heavy hair gel. Because it's kind of hard to wash the hair gel out. Like, it actually is. Anyway, that out of the way. Let's take a look at her face. So I did notice that, unfortunately... Her glasses have left indents and some paint on her face, so I hope I can get that off, but I wasn't going to try to do that before this review because with the reviews, I like to show exactly how the product arrived to me, and this is how the product arrived to me. So anyway, let's zoom in and take a look at her face with the glasses on. So I was really excited about this one because I, if I recall correctly, we only had one character who canonically wears glasses like regularly like this and not sunglasses, and it's Delilah. And then we have another one coming out or kind of out right now and then Lavender, and I just really like dolls with glasses. I think they look really cute on doll faces, and it's exciting to have a new glasses shape. So she has this kind of rounded triangle shape to her glasses, and it's funny, they actually sit on the earrings. They don't really sit up here. I guess they can, but oh, maybe they are supposed to sit up there. That looks a little bit different, but I kind of preferred them sitting on the pearls, but anyway. They are black. It seems like they are painted black, unfortunately, instead of being sculpted in black, which I can see why, because they wanted this area to be, like, kind of see-through-y. So this is the actual color. And because they painted them black, that's why there's some staining on her face. So that's a bit of a bummer. I don't remember that being a problem with Delilah. At least mine didn't have that problem. And there is a rubber band here. If you want her to wear her glasses rec regularly, I recommend you leave that rubber band there. But I'm going to be taking it off so that we can take the glasses off. But anyway, that's what she looks like. Glasses on. I'll be right back. Now that the glasses are off, we can take a closer look at her face. So again, unfortunately, she does have denting and staining on her face from the glasses. This is funny because I actually get this from wearing glasses, so I'm not really mad at those. But the staining is not ideal. So uh, please excuse that, but just know that that could happen to your doll as well. Hopefully later batches get that right. She also has an eye color that I'm not super used to with Rainbow High. I know we've seen it before, but I can't recall on which character. It's... It's basically purple, but it's got this really beautiful, like, bluey green going on in it. I'm really hoping this isn't another series where every single doll has blue eyes. I swear. <laughs> I am so sick of that rainbow high. Why? That aside, I do think her eye color matches the rest of the doll really, really well. Like, in a vacuum, very cute. She has brown eyebrows, which is kind of interesting. She's got just kind of solid colored brown eyebrows, a little bit faded out into the middle, and then white lines that are meant to be, like, individual hairlines. These tend to be uneven on Rainbow High Dolls. It doesn't bother me too much, but you can see mine are a little bit uneven. Then she has overall fairly simple makeup. She's just got this like darker lavendery tone or purpley pink, whatever it is, um, all around the eye. There's a wing. There's not any other top eyelashes painted on, which is interesting. There usually would be. And she's got this white line through the eyeliner line. I don't know. So it's like a graphic liner and it goes all the way into the middle. And there is really pretty inner eye highlight in the middle. I like that a lot. Um, the lighting is not capturing it on the side, but there it is. And there's a light shimmer as well, as you can see. Hard to catch on camera, but it is there in that purple pink section. Uh, and then I really like that lip color. It's very magenta, and she's got the little black smile lines drawn on as well, which not every Rainbow High doll has. It's very interesting which ones they choose to put it on and which ones they don't. 
She also has these earrings. I hate them. So they weren't even, one of them had fallen off in the packaging. And as you can see, they can't go in anymore. Like, that's what they're designed to look like. I do actually think they're intended to help with the glasses and that's why they are out that much. But otherwise, I have no idea what this is, but you can't push them in more. Like, look. Maybe if I peeled that paint off, it would go in more. I don't know if that's intentional or not, but it looks really goofy. So she probably just will not wear earrings in my collection, but that's what they look like. Love this blushing too. I love, love, love the blushing lately. It's been really like intense and pretty. Okay, the hair. So I am going to be taking the hat off, but first let's take a look at her with that hat on. So she's got this hat that's like asymmetrically placed over here and on the top of the head. And... I really like the hat. I think it looks good with her. In the promotional photos, I wasn't sure about the hat. I thought maybe it was too small for her head, but I like it. I think it looks good. Her hair, very heavily gelled, but she's got these, um, like, curtain bangs, I guess. Is that what they're supposed to be? I'm not sure. Uh, very interesting, and they are rooted in properly as, like, thatched bangs, I believe is what those are. And then the rest of her hair is in kind of like a not necessarily a low- would this be a low ponytail? Just kind of a meh ponytail, I don't know. I don't like that there's this sagging area here, but that's probably just the way mine ended up being styled. And then it's got this big spiky plastic thing. It's not sharp at all, by the way. Um, just kind of wrap- and the piece just kind of slides onto the hair like this. It actually holds itself on really, really well, considering I messed up, but that's how you put it back on. So yeah, I don't know. Her hair is interesting. Usually Rainbow Idols don't really have hairstyles, so I do appreciate that they did something here, but yeah, it's there. All right, now for the hat. I'll show it to you while it's on her. So this is what the hat looks like while it is on her head. So there are these spikes, which are actually a plated sort of material, which is really nice. So they're super shiny. That contrasts heavily with this, which is not. So you can see why I prefer a plated look. Much more reflective, more realistic. But it's definitely a light, like, plastic, and it's not cold to the touch at all. Like, it's not actually metal. And the hat material is pleather, so that's a coated material. So in theory, over time, the coating can peel off. So that's something to look out for. Hopefully it doesn't. And I really like the construction of this hat. It fits really nicely. It keeps its shape really well. And that is something I approve of a lot. And then the hat is on her head with tea ties, as you can see, these little things. And if you take those off, the hat will like never sit properly again, unless you, I guess you could get like straight pins into it, but just know that if you want her to keep that hat on, I recommend not cutting those tea ties off, but I'm going to be doing it so you can see what she looks like without the hat on. I will be right back. The hat is now off so I can show you what lavender looks like without it. Um, so the hairstyle definitely makes her head look quite flat without the hat. Also, interestingly, the hat, it holds its shape really well, and I was wondering why. There's this ring inside that has all these spikes on it, so you could actually remove that if you wanted to. Like, all these spikes would pretty easily come out, I think. So you could just have a regular little beret if you wanted to. I do think the spikes contrast with her design, but I don't think that's a bad thing. Like, I'm not mad at it. And her hair is really gorgeous actually it's like this really really light lilac color with um like darker throughout it's super pretty i can't tell if that's like a true white but i think it's a purpley white it's gorgeous it's gorgeous it almost like looks more white than a lot of dolls with white hair do because a lot of dolls with white hair have that yellow tone to it this is very very pretty and then her glasses without the rubber band you can just put them on like regular glasses but they're gonna be a lot more prone to falling off um as you can see but her hairstyle should help them stay on sorry authentic trying to get the glasses on there we go yeah she definitely needs the hat which again you can just sit it on her head but without those tea ties it's gonna make it a lot more difficult so you know there we go so it looks really weird but yeah so i recommend leaving those those um tea ties in if you want it to stay on oh rooting pattern it looks like it's gonna be really good there's a lot of hair on this head yeah a lot of hair on the head middle part line nice there's an actual part line cool so i'm very interested in restyling this doll because i'm not sure how i feel about her right now uh which is sad i was really excited about this one but i just think she needs a restyle i'm taking those glasses off right now anyways moving down let's take a look at her little choker so she has a little portrait thing necklace charm it's very cute i really like the way they did that it looks like it was all sculpted in a clear material and then they painted the black silver and it makes it look like a really cool relief i like that a lot and the necklace itself is just a faux velvet material but it looks like it has a like regular ribbon on the back or something no that's more velvet man it looks a lot longer than it i mean than it needs to but i think it's so that you can tie it easily which i approve of and it's just kind of on here so you could take this thing off if you wanted to you could put something else on it you could put it on a different choker whatever you wanted 
which I think is pretty nice. Moving down, let's take a look at her outfit. So I'm really excited about this outfit. I think it is adorable. By the way, this is from packaging, so that will go away with time. It's just a little line from the tea tie that was there. But this is what her outfit looks like. Let me zoom out just a little so you can get a better look at it. Also, please excuse her hair. I really think I just got one with really messy hair. So I'm very curious to see if this top is a separate piece because it might be one of my favorite doll clothing pieces of all time. I literally just said that with Barry's top, but like, oh my God, it's so pretty. But let's look at it all together first. So she's got this top with, I mean, just look at all this detail. So there's separate little breast pieces. I never know what to call that. Um, and there's like trims on this. The fabric is awesome. She's got these little buttons. I love the poofy sleeves. At the top of the big poofy sleeves, there's this purple trim. It's not like a trim. It's just kind of like a organza. I don't like this as much. It doesn't match with everything else. Everything else is much less sat saturated than this, but it's not too distracting. Like you actually can't really notice it usually. And it's an off the shoulder look. I think you could pull it up if you wanted to, but I prefer the off the shoulder like it's supposed to be. And I love, love, love the poofy sleeves. I love seeing fun sleeves. And just look at that detailing. It's so pretty. There's all these flowers and things embroidered into the mesh fabric. There's also, you can see in there, a stiffer fabric that's helping it hold its shape. Like that's not just the, the fabric that you see here. That's really cool. Really appreciated. Really awesome attention to detail to make sure that the silhouette of the outfit is correct, which rocks. And then she has this pretty tight skirt going on that goes all the way up to the chest and has kind of like a reverse sweetheart thing going on. I don't really know what to call this garment other than a skirt. It is super, super cool. I love all of the stitching. Mine is a bit uneven here. As you can see, it's not cut perfectly, but it's not really bothering me. I don't really care. And... All of the stitching is on the back as well. Just a very, very nice piece. Love it. And it is this pleather material. So again, potentially could peel over time. We'll just have to wait and see. Only time can tell. And this is what her little nails look like, by the way. They are long white nails. Oh, look. So they have like two different tones of white so that the tips are different. I don't feel like we've seen that in a minute. Or I just haven't been paying attention. That is super cool. So she's actually manicured. I love that. I love that. Okay, now let's investigate. I know these are going to be two separate pieces. I know it. <gasps> no! What? My heart is broken. Well, now I actually care about this not being even, because if it's not a separate piece, then I can't move it around. <gasps> this never happens. Rainbow high, or shadow high. What the heck? Okay. I'm heartbroken. <laughs> it is, unfortunately, a dress. I wonder... I kind of want to see if it would be possible for me to separate these pieces. Oh my god, I'm so devastated. You guys have no idea. I feel like I could totally just try to free this shirt from there, but it's pretty small under there. Oh, I'm so sad. I was really hoping that was an undershirt because this would be such a fun piece to pair around with other things. Oh, that's so heartbreaking. How did this happen? Sorry, I like actually was not expecting that. With Rainbow High, I never expect something like that. Every other doll brand, sure. <laughs> but with Shadow High and Rainbow High specifically, I never anticipate that happening. Um, not that big of a deal. Clearly, it's designed to be a dress and not a top and a skirt. I just thought that it was a top and a high-waisted skirt, but alas, it's a dress. I'm so sad. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Moving down, we can take a look at her shoes, which are fabric shoes, which is awesome. So these are quite different than usual. I've never seen them with these little sequins glued on. Not even sure how they did this. It just seems really meticulous, but... There's these little sequins glued on. These are much less um, shoe-like than the other fabric shoes we've encountered. Uh, by the way, when I say fabric shoes on a doll, if you've been collecting dolls recently, you may like have seen more fabric shoes on the market than usual, but this was completely unheard of even just five years ago. Like You wouldn't even see this on collector dolls unless they were 100 plus and it would be pretty uncommon. It is very cool that Rainbow High and Shadow High keep doing fabric shoes. It's, again, extremely unusual. Extremely unusual. And... It's very refreshing. So these feel more like socks than anything, but that is the style of the shoe. Like I recognize the shoe that they're trying to mimic here and the heel is super cool. It's very weird. I like the iridescence on it a lot. And yeah, so the way they do this, by the way, is that it is just a regular shoe, but they put fabric in between the heel and the shoe and then sew it kind of like a sock. And then there's nothing going on on the bottom, but I really like that iridescent shimmer that's in there. Very cool. Very, very cool. Now let's take a look at her extra accessories. I already took them out of the blister packaging and same problem as before. Uh, the blister packaging 
left marks on it or in this case I think it actually peeled this but I'm not sure but anyway she comes with a magazine I love this I know this is like the cheapest lamest doll accessory ever but when dolls come with magazines I love it it gets me so excited and this is an actual magazine like it actually has pages unfortunately I already opened it up there was water damage or moisture or something I don't know so all of the pages up at the top got peeled uh so that really sucks but whatever so that's something to keep in mind that might happen uh so on the front we have barry it says the scene circuit board chic and i love that the barcode is rainbow that's really cute and on the back there is ainsley holding a bunch of bags i wonder if this is supposed to be art for the series two uh bags that never came out because i don't recognize these bags <laughs> that's kind of funny actually anyway is the editor carla chopet i don't know um, but anyway, we got the editor's note, and all of the text is actually just uh, Latin nonsense that coders like to use. Like, people use it as a placeholder. And then we've got Zoe, Fashion 101, just explaining different details of her outfit. Love that picture. <laughs> and then we have the Shadow High boys. So we got Rex, Ash, and Oliver. And again, just the filler text, but it's fine. It's, it's so small. And then we've got Sunny and Luda Madison. It says Twin Highlight. And then we've got... Oh, Neon Shadow for some reason, just specifically them and Reyna or Glitch, but you know, interesting. I guess it's just a Rainbow Vision ad and yeah, it's holographic. It's very cute. I like it a lot. And then she comes with a camera because she is a photography focus. I love this accessory. Look how great this is. So, oh, it's the picture that, what was that on her tablet? Yeah, it's the picture she posted. So is this... Tanzania? Is she from Tanzania? That's cool. Oh my god. So I love that. That is such a fun little continuity thing. That's just very cute. I know that's actually just lazy because she's using the same picture again, but I love it. It's cute. And there's a little handhold spot here. That's pretty uh big and clunky, but you could easily cut this off. Like I'm not kidding. You could just get scissors and cut it right off. It's soft plastic. I love the detailing. There's even the white painted button there, which is very cool. And they painted the ring light as well. And this is an actual camera accessory, like, that's a thing. And it says SH here, and there is the, like, lenses. She's got two lenses. Or no, just one of those big lenses is what I mean. And then you've got this black spot here. And this is so nice. I think she needs a lens cap, though. <laughs> and then we have a teacup and a little, what do they call these little plates? Just like a tea plate, I don't know. Um, a saucer. But look how cute this is. I love this print on it. It's really cool. It's black with the silver detailing. Love all the silver. I love that this doll finally is like all silver, not gold. Actually, Barry is too. Is this a true silver lineup? I hope so. I'm, I'm done with gold. There's been enough of it. Anyway, I really like the super metallic paint that they used on the edge of the plate and the bottom of the teacup, as well as, oh my god, the rim of the teacup up at the top. This is very, very cute. And all of the accessories can actually be held by the doll. I mean, Except maybe this. Well, I don't know if she could hold the play, but she could definitely hold this. It's a teacup, so it's kind of cheating. Um, but this too. So, yeah, I'm going to put some of her stuff back on her and I'll do my final thoughts. All right, it's time for final thoughts. So, uh, this always happens. I pick a favorite from the photos and she ends up not being my favorite. But don't get me wrong. I really like this doll. I think she is gorgeous. I think she's well designed. Um, there's just some problems that harmed that for me specifically the dress not being two pieces that sucks like and again it is a dress it is clearly designed to be a dress but I just thought that it was a skirt and a top and for me that's something I was really excited about because I thought this top was so pretty and I wasn't as into the skirt but regardless of that it is a very beautiful piece of doll clothing so it's not that big of a deal but I know that could be a deal breaker for other people especially if you're someone who's super into restyling this is a huge bummer love the shoes they're really nice and super unique for Rainbow High, which is very nice because we get a lot of samey shoes sometimes. So those are very nice and new. Love the accessories she comes with. Hers are original, I'm pretty sure. Like, I don't remember teacups and cameras. And also, for some reason, magazines are kind of unusual. Like, we haven't seen a whole lot of them. So I enjoy it a lot. That's how she can hold the teacup. So she can definitely hold her accessories. Love the camera. I think the camera is awesome. And again, these dolls don't come with a second outfit anymore, and they retail for the $25 price point, around $25 price point. I bought mine on the LOL Surprise website, and I mean, 
I think compared to a lot of other dolls on the market for $25, these are a steal, but I don't feel as stunned and impressed by this one as I did by Barry. Like, I think if I had to tell you, like, which one I would recommend over the other, it would definitely be Barry. I just feel like she had so much more going on, and I feel like I got more, like, of my money's worth. But I will say that Barry's accessories, the extra stuff, like the... She came with a laptop, a tablet, and a phone are not nearly as interesting as the teacup, the saucer, or whatever that's called, the, the tea plate, and the camera. I definitely think those are cooler. And I really love that Lavender has glasses. I love her hat. It's very unique for Rainbow High, and it's really well made. It looks awesome. I just wish there was some way to attach it to the doll's head, but short of adding a comb in there, I'm not sure how they would do that. The hair, this doll has fantastic hair. Her face is beautiful. I just think having the indents and the paint on the face right out of the gate is not ideal and I'm not sure if that's going to be uncommon. Uh, I hope that it's uncommon and I understand that this sort of thing happens but I think that the glasses should have been done in a black material instead of painting them black because that's what caused the staining. It's not I think it'll come off we'll see. So but I do really like the gems. I think this doll is very well designed. I think she's very very cute. It's just she doesn't end up having as much of interest to me as Barry ended up having but regardless I think she's super super pretty and I specifically really like how saturated her skin tone is there are much more saturated shadow high dolls than this of course and this is just something I've noticed with a lot of fantasy skin tone lines like even when we get to fantasy fur color lines like with um My Little Pony and stuff they tend to shy away from doing more saturated darker colors and this isn't even a darker color this isn't even that saturated but they tend to go with the lightest possible color grade, and when you're doing dolls of people, that gets very, very iffy. And I think that's just a huge shame, because outside of the implications that that sends, like the message that that can send of having very, like, very light-skin-toned dolls in uh, fantasy lines always, it's also just... I think really saturated skin tones are very, very fun and interesting in fantasy lines, so even if you're ignoring the blaring social, societal implication of it, um, it's just a shame that the designs get very samey and boring and you'll see the same colors popping up over and over again, which is totally fine. I don't mind having repeat colors. Like, I know a lot of people have been saying this doll and Zoe have the same thing going on, but I really don't think they do. I think they're quite different, even though they do have relatively similar skin tones. They don't actually, but you know, like similar enough. It's in the same color family. Um, I've been noticing for some reason they've been doing way more with like darker purples like we've had three darker purple colors so far and for other colors we haven't had any darker skin skin tone so it's very interesting i wonder why that is um so hopefully as shadow high continues if it does continue i hope that it does i really like shadow high so all that being said there's definitely some problems that i have with this doll i'm a bit disappointed in some things but overall a very very beautiful doll that i'm very happy to add to my collection she's just not one that I can use her pieces for restyles, which I like doing with my Rainbow and Shadow High dolls. I really like to mix and match their clothing pieces because the clothes are always such high quality, and this is such a high quality clothing piece. I just really wanted to switch it around, uh, but maybe I can free this shirt from the skirt. We'll see. I'll just wait until I have another one of this doll someday, if I ever do. Uh, so yeah, I'd love to know what you guys think. Do you just totally disagree with me and this is like the best one by far to you? I would love to hear it. I'm super excited about her regardless. I just think I I accidentally picked the one of the greatest dolls ever created to be the video that I did yesterday just by coincidence. I actually asked my uh, husband like <laughs> which one of these do you like the best? Like which one should I open first? And he picked this one. So that that's actually how that happened yesterday. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, for all this time, thank you guys so so much for watching. Let me know what you think. Bye.